Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Beat time to my friends in Poland. Natasi. Bonjour. Allo. Well, this is a case. A telescope that I haven't used in quite a while. The only time I actually use it is when I want to look at some birds. I don't think I've ever put it on the on the moon. But if I had one telescope. I definitely look at this let me show you you can see the water bottle over here to the left and let me open it up okay this is a case you see that this is a case for the Telview 60 millimeter scope. It's called the Telview 60 or TV 60 telescope. And here I've got a dovetail. This fits on a a vixen dovetail or I could put it in a, a camera tripod there's a screw there I believe that will work I think that's a quarter inch right there if you could see it this is held by one one bolt and it secures it very well just like it would be held by one bolt uh, on a tell on a, a tripod photographic tripod it fits nicely into the container to its compartment and then I have a, a diagonal here and as you can see here's a water bottle it's not even a large water bottle but take the water bottle with you Take the case out, a few eyepieces, and you can observe nature. Obviously, this is a no-brainer setup, again. And I've heard commentators say, well, uh, should this be your first scope? And they all say, no, no, you should get another scope. Well, in the 60s, we all had 60 millimeter scopes, which were 2.4 inches. That was a common telescope. And it's good for amateur astronomy. It's good for the backyard astronomy, especially if you have a deep sky. But certainly it's good on the moon. There's no doubt about that. I did try it out on the moon, and it's just fine. Uh, it's F6. Uh, focal length so it has a 360 millimeter focal length the scope has a a dew shield or a sunshade really nice it's got a plastic lens for quick removal or cap pull this off if you want to take a, a view of a of a bird whatever and it has a what I like is a coarse focuser. This is a push pull. Pull it out to rough rough focus, and then use this little thing to uh, it's a helical focuser. And use this to dial in to exact focus. Can center it easily and then lock it down. There's a this is the little pin here, or I'm sorry, a little screw, and it'll lock it down just nicely. Um, and then 
the diagonal. This one I put an extension tube on. Okay, and the reason for extension tubes, which is kind of a neat little trick, the longer the extension tube, the closer focus I can get. With this in here, I think I've got a close focus of at least, I think, 10 feet. So if I want to zoom in on uh, a leaf that's just off my porch or whatever, I can do it with this. Uh, so that's a neat little trick to remember. Take this out too. And we'll put this back in. We push that in. Make sure that's centered. And let's see. Nope. Oh. Next on it for the for the kit. Let's see. If you only use one bolt for the uh, dovetail, it fits nicely in there. You don't need two bolts. This scope isn't isn't that heavy. It's very light. Maybe a few pounds at the most. So that's a little trick. I've seen some people have their dovetail way out here because they want to use two bolts not necessary um, one bolt will do the job and what I will do eventually is set it up on a mount and uh, see how that fits really nice and show you how how it works how it sets up but you can get an idea if I can put it together with one hand I could have it mounted on my uh, alt azimuth mount in a matter of seconds so this is the ultimate grab and go um, I have a cover for it and when the scope is sitting outside I'll use this cover to um, the sack, I guess you could call it, to cover this telescope. That's it, you know, I mean, how much easier can you get? Uh, so, if you're new to telescopes, and you want something simple, and you want to take pictures through it, and you don't necessarily going to spend a night out observing deep sky objects all the time a 2.4 inch telescope is actually very reputable uh, you know it's 60 my my other telescope is 15 millimeters more at 85 uh the 76 what is it and no that's not right 25 millimeters more the 76 is 16 millimeters more so, yeah, I mean, you carry this on to an aircraft, bring your tripod with you, collapsible tripod, and uh, go on an airplane. Or if you're just driving in the country and you want to take looks, vistas, out by a lake, this is the way to go. Um, of course, all Teleview products are designed basically for for grab and go astronomy, but it's a cute little uh, telescope, and I highly recommend it. I'll talk to you later. I'm gonna set it up. The heat is oppressive right now, so I don't know if I'm gonna do it today. But yeah, here's your Teleview 60. Have and make it a great day.